How's it going everybody? So today I have an exciting project to show you. I have never done green sand casting before and so today I'm gonna try and do that. A couple of weeks ago I did try my hand at doing a little bit of preliminary casting. I just used, I think it was a muffin tin and I made some pretty cool parts for a sword and I used brass for that. It was old shells that I used for that one. Uh, in this project I'm gonna be using the rest of the shells that I have. I'm gonna be trying to cast something a little bit bigger. I haven't quite figured out what, what I'm gonna cast yet. I have a couple ideas. The sand is not here yet, so we are going to have to wait for that to come in. But until that comes in, I'm going to be making the boxes for the mold to sit in. And that's what this is going to be. I'm going to have to cut these down considerably because I don't want to have to move too much sand around. I only have 10 pounds, and to be honest, I don't know how much 10 pounds is, but that's what's coming in the mail. So I'm going to be making some smaller boxes so I don't have to use all of it, and we get to melt some brass. I also figured out in the last, the last time I melted brass, I've never done low temp metals before. And I think one of the problems I ended up with a few inclusions in my brass castings was because I didn't clean the metal properly. That's my best guess. If anybody knows why, let me know because uh, this is all new to me, so I'm not entirely sure. So let's get started. Okay, so you just saw me cut the tabs off, which, you know, seemed like a great idea at the time until I realized it can do this now. Um, so I just, I don't know why I cut the tabs off. I wanted to make it look cleaner, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna actually have to put tabs back on here. If you ever make one of these boxes, just don't cut the tabs off, it's fine. I was just trying to make it look nicer, that's it. It's the only reason I did it. So I'm gonna have to cut some tabs and put them back on. But then the boxes are basically done. Otherwise, they do work uh, very well. I probably don't need the tabs, but I'm gonna put them back on there anyway, just to make things a little nicer, a little easier to work with. I need things to be more idiot-proof than that, so we're gonna do that. Okay, now that this is done, I need to work on the brass. So I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if this process would work for, uh, for you guys that do reloading, but uh, this drill bit is like the easiest thing in the world to remove these primers. It, you just drill it and it grabs it every time. I've been doing this for about five hours now. I took a half hour break for lunch and I've been doing this for five hours. Wow. I'm so done. We still have to wash these. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how much to use. We'll just, uh, you know, whatever. I have no idea.
we're gonna have to do this a little bit quickly. So, here's the bowl. Here's my sand. Okay, so I'm sort of running out of time, so I've just decided, uh, I guess I'm doing the smartphone. I had a couple different ideas of what I wanted to do, but I, uh, I have no time left, so. I got a text. Okay, so here, I don't know if you can see this, it didn't quite fill up. I don't know if I reached the surface or not. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure I had enough. Oh no, it's not quite enough. That's funny, I had just enough here. <laughs> I had, so I had just enough for it to fill up and have a perfectly flat top here, uh, but I didn't have enough to fill into this gap over here which is fine because I think I want to try this a second time. I'm going to go quench this real quick. We'll take a look at it, uh, and then we'll probably try this again in just a second. All right, let's go. Ah, something wrong with my... <laughs> something seems to be wrong with my quench tank. It seems to be solid now. Oh, it's stuck to the, stuck to the ice. Oh, that's so cool. So there is my first uh, brass smartphone. So we're gonna try this one more time tomorrow when I get a chance and uh, see if we can get a better uh, casting. All right, welcome back. Um, so really quickly, I learned four things from yesterday's pour. The first one, you can see I'm putting on my welding jacket. Yesterday I was wearing polyester. I didn't actually think about it until, uh, <laughs> until after I was done. Polyester, if it ever catches on fire, uh, which we're obviously working with fire, if it ever catches on fire, it literally melts your skin. It's not a good idea. So you want to wear something that won't burn you as much. The other thing I decided to do was I melted down the rest of all the pew pew husks and made a bunch of ingots so I could use them instead. I think that that's going to cut down how much of that extra junk you end up with in the crucible so you have more material to pour with. The other thing I figured out is I actually need a little bit more brass because the foam that I'm trying to cast needs a bit more brass than I originally thought. So I'm gonna try and put as much, I'm gonna try and fill that crucible up as much as I can and as safely as I can. The last thing I figured out is I need to set up my sand mold before I actually start melting uh, the brass. Because this is still a new process to me, I don't really know what I'm doing and so it takes me a couple of tries to get the mold set up properly. Uh, so I came out this morning and I went ahead and just set up the mold early on so that I don't have to do that while everything is heating up and then I have a time frame I have to stay on. Uh, so that's all done, so all I have to do is just man the crucible now. The last thing I decided to change was the uh, respirator mask. I did wear a mask yesterday. I didn't wear the respirator because it sort of just gets in the way, but I'm gonna force myself to wear the respirator today because it's not okay to breathe that stuff in. Melting brass is really bad for your lungs, so you don't wanna breathe that in. So I'm gonna open the door. We're gonna get some airflow in here and then 
We're gonna start working on some brass. So hopefully today's pour goes a little better. Okay, so I've gone ahead and hit pretty much the entire thing now with some of the steel wool and uh, shined it up a little bit. I, I could have grinded a lot of these defects out of here, but I decided just to leave it rough just so I can kind of see where all of my issues are. If anybody in the comments knows anything about casting, uh, how to get rid of all of these little pockets that are in here. I don't know if they're air bubbles. I think some of this might be sand, I'm not sure. When I pulled the phone out of the sand mold, I think I knocked some of the sand out of place because I have a button and this little knob thing here and I think that's probably where I, I probably did something with the sand there, I'm not sure. But anyway, I didn't get end up anything in those two spots. The camera spot came out pretty well, it's a little rough. And I could, have, I could have spent more time on that and probably cleaned it up a little better, but it doesn't bother me. But that's kind of cool. I really like this thing. Now I have a golden smartphone. <laughs> what can I do with a golden smartphone? What would you do with a golden smartphone? I have no idea. I don't know. I'm going to hold on to this for a while, though. If nothing else, I have a nice ingot that I can melt up later. All right. So, Lucy, I wanted to show you a quick magic trick real quick. You see this? Mm -hmm. Do you recognize that? Uh-huh. It's a phone. It is a phone. What color is it? It's black. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. So we're gonna cover up. We're gonna cover it up now. Are you ready? What color is it now? It's gold! <laughs> it's, so, it's, so, it's so smooth. It is very smooth. So what do you want to do with a gold smartphone now? Beep boop, beep boop. Hello? Yeah. Oh yeah, I get $2,000 now. Where you got $2,000 from the gold? I don't have $2,000. Hello? They told me I couldn't have any. Oh, I'm going to donate all of it to oh. you. Oh, good. Well, thank you. Yeah, I got $2,000 from the Yay. gold smartphone. This gold is real gold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is real gold. Either. No, it's brass. Ah! It's made out of these. It melted them down. Pew pews. Pew pews. Or pew pews. Yep. Pew pews. I melted them down and made a smartphone. Yay. <laughs> it's really heavy. Yeah, you can work out. I'm gonna break the magic here. Here, what? hold, hold this. I lied. I didn't actually change it. In what? The okay. Feel how much heavier it is. Yeah. I know, right? It broke the scale. It's like ten times the weight. Like it's so much more it dense. Broke. I feel like this thing's just gonna fly out of my hand. Look at my mess. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for watching. Catch you all next time. Catch you all next time. I'll go back to seeing you now. Okay. <laughs>